super tiny and they're specially made just for this frame. Hey yo, what's up guys? Thanks for being back on the channel. It's super exciting to do those videos again. And also we have exciting news and I want to share it with you together today. I got the honor to show you a new product and we do an unboxing because I really love these first look videos of new products. Um, so the rest of the team is shooting so that's why I'm back in the studio here and we do the unboxing together of a new product we're gonna launch soon. As you know and we, as you follow us for a while um, we work together with Luminear and we do high-end cinematic FPV drone products. Uh, we have already two versions out. It's a two and a half inch and a five inch cine whoop with cage design and uh, it's the pro whoop and the micro pro whoop and those are super amazing frames. So now it's time for something new, something bigger to carry all your cinema, cinema camera needs. So that's why today we got something new. And um, this is also the first time for me seeing this. Um, because this is the first prototype sample, final pre-production version, let's say it. And Lumini was kind enough to send it to me to do this first unboxing video with you guys. And so check this out. We have the QME Pro Lifter, which is an X8 motor configuration on 9 inch and um, this is for the Red Komodo and all your cinema cameras, FX6, Wave, all these, you can run a gimbal on it. And today we're gonna take a first look. And I just wanna show you how huge this box is in comparison, well, let, me, let me grab this, to our other products, which is the uh, Micro Whoop and the QV Pro 5 inch Whoop. And just look at the size comparison. Um, with these, so this if you got one of these you will see that this is a huge difference in just box size and um, well, let's stick right into it because there's a lot to it and let's start. So first of all we have the nice matte plaque finish again and don't get confused because this is still a pre-production version so it's a little bit scratched up but the final version will be look always as good. So we're gonna put this over here. Can you see this? And first of all, you get this little, little nice welcome QB Pro Lifter uh, paper here. And then there's another layer of foam, so everything is super well protected. And just look at this. Oh my God! This is also for me seeing this the first time, and this looks so amazing. Super nice packaging, you got all these little boxes, your arms are fitted in here, so that's super nice. So let's dig right into it. Um, let's start with the arm assemblies, I would say, because this is a super unique feature about this frame. And um, as you can see, you have your carbon tubes here with the 5 axis. Um, machine CNC machine aluminium parts here you know this is like a super strong design at the end you can put your bolts in here all the wires will run through the arms since they are hollow um, and this makes for a super clean design also antenna position is on top of here super nice so of course we have two of these here is the other side let's put it aside here then which is a really nice touch are these little boxes here for all your miscellaneous and smaller parts. Um, yeah, this is a huge box. So um, you have all these little plastic boxes here, and um, what we put, we, what we did, we put all the little parts in here. You have your long UFL connectors and SMA connectors for your Vista and the Crossfire in case you need them. Um, then you have your alpha gel in here, of course, for that super clean video. You have a plaque XT90 in here, which looks super nice because we ask for every little detail to look good too. Um, then this is also a new feature because this frame comes with LEDs. These are smoke chrome LED covers, which goes on the end of the frame. 
like this. So this will give you the super stealthy look, but you have also LEDs in there. I'm telling you guys, this frame looks amazing with this LED installed front and back because those arm lit up a little bit inspired by the Inspire from DJI. So we really love this look. You got four of these and you have your traditional straps here. Of course, as always, super nice Kevlar so they will not get damaged. You have this little rubber coating here on the inside. Different lengths to mount your cameras. You have also this long version. I really love these because you can't really strap everything around. Um, but doesn't matter which camera you have. So those go super nice. And this touch with the little boxes are so cool because um, we don't put so much, so many plastic bags in here, and you can also reuse them to store your your screws and all the other stuff what you usually carry around um, so this makes a nice touch also afterwards you're building your frame so let's just check out another box here so that's like Christmas here so here we have all the USB extension cables you have USB-C and micro USB which is super nice because it's a big frame so you can have easily access from the outside and also here our screws and they are all labeled so you know ex exactly how many you have in there and where they go, for, go to. Um, super nice touch because now you know exactly where to put which bolt with our manual being created. Um, this makes a super easy assembly. Here we have a little carbon, carbon pieces um, for your alpha gel and the clean plate. They're also like with a little zip tie tie to it, super nice. And uh, here we have some standoffs, some more screws, little washers, and some nuts. We have a bunch of zip ties, and of course our little rubber pads for the um, battery battery mounting. Those are super fun to install since you can like stick them on all these uh, on, on the whole carbon plate and they go exactly in this form which is a super nice touch and um, they hold your battery in place. So this is a super nice touch and um, yeah let's put everything back together. So that we have a little bit room on the table here because there is so many parts to this frame um, that we can show you even more. Let's put it like this. And there's another box. So what do we have here? So these are 3D printed parts um, which actually go inside the frame. Those are little dividers. Um, we go inside the frame. So we made these that you can um, run your wires clean in there. As you can see, let me focus this. As you can see you can run all your wires in there and um, you stick your screwed through here and your bolt so with these little uh, bolts here you can hold this in place and you will not also when you put the, the screws through it because you run a lot of wires from all the motors and from the LEDs so you will not punch your wires in there and also we have the crossfire mount here this is for antenna we have one vertical and one horizontal um, so the vertical one just uh, goes in here and it sits on the back of the frame since we use the diversity and the other one is with a nice little click system uh, camera mounting so you just snap it in place and it stays in the front I'm going to show you in a second so we have 3D printed parts here put them on assembly aside and there's even one more box wow so what do we have here so here are the LEDs which are super tiny, they're specially made just for this frame and as you can see they're super super tiny and uh, it's four LEDs, they're RGBs and they're fully controllable. So here we have our pre-custom made cables for it. So this is a plug and play system, so you just plug them in together and they go in those covers I showed you before they snap in position and you can put all the colors, all the modes you known from your battery, uh, from your Betaflight or 
other LED or FC setup and um, and you can put all the different modes and uh, colors to it uh, configure it by your, your flight control as you know from other drones maybe and we also have a little power distribution board here this calls the QV Pro LED system which is super nice everything is black and black and you can solder on the back and you can just mount this uh, over your flight controller so this is super nice there's some mounting in it with some screws ah and one more thing here that's nice to see so this is a little a little nut power distribution board so you can solder your your power wires onto it but then you are, have more ports for more leads for your ESCs and you don't have to put everything like on one on one solder solder pad so this makes it super nice for a clean installation let's put this back together and there's so many boxes what do we have here some more parts ah here these are the motor mounts um, those are super nice matte, matte black aluminium pieces and uh, they go on the arm ends like this and you will see later there are some carbon plates, plates to it where you can mount your motor makes a super nice and tidy design and clean installation um, they fit super snug so like there's literally no movement because those tubes are especially CNC'd for these type of clamps so we got 8 of them here and let's put that maybe on the side here and then one other cool thing is our new invention for the camera mounting system and we wanted to go as minimal as possible so we have these two nice aluminium pieces here and you can you see there's a little ratchet in there let the camera pick it up there's some little notches in here um, to set your angle and it's a tight fit so you have this little assembly here which goes on the frame and you can change easily your angle back and forward then we have some more little nuggets probably if you have one of our other frames you're familiar already with those little thumb screws here um, these are for tightening down your camera clean plate also super nice you don't need tools to change anything super nice we have some more aluminium parts here so to make a clean build we also made these little aluminium I don't know if you can see them these little aluminium um, brackets where you can run your power lead through it and tie them down to the to the uh, base plate and this is for a super strong installation and you can also not pull your cables from the EC or PCB which makes it super nice and secure so then there is this first layer we are done with so there's another little message and let's take this out so we have again this little foam divider in here and wow oh my gosh there's another another layer with cut out parts so check this out this is super nice and um, we have our carbon parts here the motor mounts our uh, camera plates and our little landing feet which are super cool too so let's get this unboxed let's start with the little feet here ah, these are like super light and nice touch um, there with nylon they have a, a thread insert there and you can just screw it from the bottom and gives you a little bit distance from the from the ground so you don't scratch your frame and also the props have a little bit more clearance so you got four of those then we have your we have the motor mount plates these are carbon plates and they go together with this piece here so you can easily mount your your motors on the arms on the top and on the bottom and also we have our camera plates here I'm pretty familiar you like this style here you have a scene before and uh, this was the little notch I was talking about 
where you can just click in your crossfire antenna so it sits sideways on the front of the frame for super good reception and then we have this little cutout here like it's shaped already in the in the form of the, in the shape of the frame and here we have the base plate super thick carbon fiber and also this is the Japanese carbon fiber you know from our other frames uh, which is super nice and everything is chamfered we have countersunk screws we already have these press nuts in here so you can sc screw directly in there you don't need any nuts um, which is super nice they are flush too we have a little cut out here for the um, Vista and for your air unit, so it sits in place and you just secure it with two bolts and it can go nowhere. I really like this idea. Um, this was common on other frames too. So we use this, and then um, is there another layer here? Another shaped paper. Let me take this out. So, ah, here we have the camera plate. So, as I was mentioned earlier, this will be your camera assembly here, which sits like this, and um, you can mount any camera. You have different options to mount them in the front or in the back, also on, the, on your clean plate, and there's also a lot of strap holes and holes for your screws. We even put the little, little um, hole in here to secure your GoPro in case you need it, if you want to run a GoPro, and if you have one of our other frame, uh, frames, you can all use this part to snug in here to secure your GoPro or you just print it out on Thingiverse um, it's free to download over there in case you want to run a GoPro on a Cinelifter um, so this is your camera plate assembly super cool and we have this clean plate here and also the battery mounting um, so the battery sits on top here on this frame is a top mounted battery because it's way faster to change this on set than like on the underslung ones, I really don't like them. Um, as I was mentioned here, you have different positions to, to move your camera back and forth just to set up your gravity. And um, yeah, super nice touch. You can put slots in here and uh, really awesome. What else do we have here? There's one more plate, which is this guy here. This is the top plate, as you can see we have all logos on here, there are some more thread inserts here and everything is countersunk too, so, which is a really satisfying part as I know from other prototypes. So when you slide this arm assembly in there, it's like, because it's machined, it's like a super tight fit and this makes for a super clean design. Let's put this other one together here too. So we can already see how the frame will look and check this piece out, it's so cool how it's looking and um, yeah, we really love the design, I think it makes a super clean frame and um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the final one because I have one built up already and um, the final built one because I have an early prototype we have been testing with and check this piece out once it's built. I mean, it's massive and um, super nice. We have your antennas over here, super clean layout. You don't see any wires, I mean, on mine because we've been testing a bunch, but um, like there's no wires here in the arms because everything goes inside. And the LEDs I was talking about, this is still a clear one, but as you can see how they are mounted and uh, it's super flush. Can you see this? Yeah, so we are really happy with this new product launch here and I hope you guys too. This was a first little unboxing of our new frame here and I hope you guys liked it and thank you Luminier again for trusting us so much with our ideas and products. We have in, in mind, uh, you guys rock, we will really love the quality, that's really an important point for us because every single detail is thought through and um, yeah. This will be a series of a bunch of videos um, where we have a build video coming up, where we have the feature video and also we do some chatting about the frame. So make sure you subscribe to Lumineer and get FPV and also to Cinequads 
to stay updated and thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one. Peace!